Well, hello. I want to talk to you today about the MoMA Muji fountain pen. This is a nice, slim, aluminum bodied fountain pen. Now, what's special about it? Well, nothing. Uh, apparently, Mu Muji is some kind of a special brand in uh, Japan that's kind of a discount brand. Uh, they don't have fancy packaging. This came in a plastic sleeve with just a little piece of cardboard in there. All written in Japanese, so I don't know what it said. But, you know, very basic, very plain. Um, so Muji is very minimalist. I'm guessing... I live in southwest North Dakota, so I don't know a lot of the retailers firsthand, but I'm... So I'm really struggling to come up with an equivalent, but I'll let other people talk about that. Uh, snap cap. Now, interestingly, I, it has a Schmidt nib. Now, I've been re I've reviewed a couple other pens with Schmidt nibs just lately. I don't know what order they all appeared, but I did a let's see a Schmidt fountain pen, and I did a uh, Retro 51 Tornado, and now this we got this guy. So it's a Schmidt nib, smaller. Um, this one here is a uh, doggone. Can't really read it in this light. Fine. It's, uh, I had no choice in nibs. I don't know if I'd have a choice in Japan, but whatever. It has kind of a knurled grip here. There's a tiny little section down here where the cap goes over, but honestly, unless you have micro fingers, you just aren't going to use it. The knurled grip is nice because then you're not in, you don't have that slippery, gooey contact with a pen like you did with a metal grip. Care for this pen for long writing sessions, but whatever. It is a snap cap. It posts, it actually has special lines, so it kind of posts inside the barrel. Uh, minimalist clip. When you unscrew it, I have a cartridge in it. This is the cart one of the cartridges that came with it. It's just Muji Black. Uh, I, it's long enough barrel, I suspect I can fit a regular international converter into it. So... You know, what do I like, what don't I like? Well, I like the fact that the pen is cheap. I like the way it writes. It actually writes quite decently. The way it looks, eh, it really does nothing for me. A little too narrow. The knurled grip is kind of nice because it makes it easier to hold, so it's not slick like the some of the other pens, but honestly, I prefer other materials for my grip, and the knurled just feels kind of funny against my fingers. And uh, the writing experience is really nice. But uh, would this pen ever become a daily writer? No. But this is the kind of pen I would take somewhere where I know I need a pen, but I don't want to risk losing a pen I actually like. But I want to have a decent pen that I can use. So that would be this guy. A um, little too slender. It's got mushy rubber on each end. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, let's talk size. I think I've run the gamut. Would I buy it again? No. So as far as size, it is, I know it's not a measurement, but it's just a hair shorter than Noodler's Conrad when it's capped. Uncapped. Let's see. It is a quarter inch shorter than the Conrad with a little bit narrower barrel. But posted. It is actually, oh, quarter of an inch. Three-eighths of an inch? Let's go with that. Three-eighths of an inch longer than the Conrad. Uh, so I hope that was useful and interesting, and I will see you in the writing sample. So this is the Muji Aluminum Pen. I, this makes a lot more sound than my other Schmidt nibs, but it actually feels smooth, so uh, I'm not sure what to call that. So let's do our quote. I saw that whoops I saw that quote on a web page and it just made me laugh so I had to use it even if it doesn't match my usual theme this, it was uh, very interesting to try though and uh, I have bought their notebooks again I filled up several of them already so when I get around to doing my paper reviews which I might do for a change this summer I will probably you will be seeing some Muji notebooks so I hope that was useful. Would I buy the... I already said that. Uh, so I think I've done too many reviews today. So I'm going to close with that one. I thank you for listening and we'll see you later.